Hi and welcome to Excel data entry form with a search function. This tutorial is actually at the request of one of my viewers out there. Now let me show you guys how this works. Click on reset. There we go. And we can just search for another data in there provided you know what you're searching for or if you enter the, an invalid search criteria this is what will happen okay let's say we enter the correct criteria that we want and there we go that's uh, Tommy Parker we can also delete any of these like here we have duplicated name or oh, let's go right down I think we have yeah right here this Tommy Lee we can just delete that okay that's it gone and we also have Tommy right here so we can delete that as well then the other thing we can do is we can also print if you click on print there okay I don't have print on my system so I'm gonna select one note click on OK and there we go guys that's my one note this is just to prove to you that the printer is working now get rid of that and with the other thing we can do is let's get rid of all of this we can enter new data in there so let's say this reference number is 99 and let's enter a name there let's say the name is L the L Scott leave in number four there and let's say the phone number those are the details of L Scott and let's just say he lives in big town there so all I just need to do now is to add details of L Scott straight onto the system. So if we scroll right down and right here, you should be able to see the details of L Scott himself. That is it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to take you guys to Excel Development Environment and we put one of these together. Let's do that now, guys. Okay, welcome back to my data entry form with a search function. Here I just have a spreadsheet that is populated with the following data. So you guys can do the same thing, that is no problem. And if you want this spreadsheet, I will actually give you a link to this spreadsheet on the description area. Okay, so let's go to file first thing first. Let's save this very spreadsheet. Save as. I'm going to save it here as a search. Let's say Excel search function so first of all save it just as ordinary spreadsheet that's the one I will upload onto the onto the description area for you guys so that you can practice okay so now let's save it again I'm gonna save it now as Excel macro enable workbook select that that is the name you want to save your project click on save now you need this developer menu if you don't have the developer menu go to file select options and this dialog box pops up select customize ribbon and inside it, on the customize ribbon you should be able to see developer menu click on ok if it's not checked make sure it's checked and then click on OK and there then you should see this developer menu right here click on the developer menu select visual basic or you can always select alt f11 on your keyboard there now you will get to this development area blank but you then need to go click on insert user form select the user form this form pops up with this form that is popped up you now need to define the size of your form i'm going to make that approximately 1024 and the height i'll make the height approximately 800 there we go the next thing you need is we then need the following 
we need a frame up here okay I want to get rid of the content inside that very frame come in here caption delete I need another frame right below that's about that and I then need one more frame here there we go this very frame get rid of the content as well or the, the caption just get rid of the caption now for the form I'm going to change the color of the form let's change the color to green let's come in here form will be green and this very frame up here I want to change that to green as well green one two frame let's change that to something light there we go that's fine now this frame here let's go to the toolbox I need label up here I also need the list box here I need a list box yes yeah and underneath there I need some buttons five or six of those right maybe one more right there extend this out there and here I need my sesh let's get a text box here one text box here one label here there we go and here I need in total 16 of those grab and just copy across okay we need about 16 of those yes. there we go right move it down a little bit more first thing first drag this down okay I should do it now click drag bring it down right so this need to come down a little bit more so the interface is almost ready so I'm going to increase the size of these components that I have here so let's just select it all and bring it right down and make it about 16 font make that 16 bold and the same thing here let's come in here 16 bold as well and this let's make it about 48 you can always change that and change the color to something light right in there I'll just enter Excel data entry form with search function that's how it looks they need to carry out some adjustment and I'll get back to you guys shortly okay I've finished with the design of the interface let me run it and you guys can see how it all looks like this is how it is looking now but there's nothing happening nothing is happening in that save okay I'm going to start with Let's take care of the easy ones so let's double click on exits right there and just take care of that double click on exit and right there I'm going to enter the following lines, lines of code and enter as follows that is the exit okay you can also use just unload me but I prefer this way because when I run it and click on exit this is what you get you might end up mistakenly click on exit so the system prompts you to confirm if you want to exit or not okay let's say we want to exit so the next thing we want to do now is let's take care of let's see the delete okay 
double click on the delete and there those are the lines of code for the delete if you look at it a variable is declared so covering from range 0 to 65,356 okay and if whatever any item that is selected on the list box just get rid of that that is it that's what that is all about now the next thing I want to do now is to take care of the let's take care of let's see yeah reset double click on reset and right there the reset so right in here we enter the following lines of code for the reset that's to clear whatever content I have on all of the text box if you notice I said frame 2 because frame 2 is where all my text box are that is it if I select it you can see it's frame 2 okay but the other one that I that is on frame 3 is search function so we're going to have to enter that lines of code separately so we come down here and just enter that copy this and paste it right there for the search function so I have three of my command buttons working now delete exit and reset so let's try try out the system and see how it works so we enter whatever we want in here and see if we can clear or reset there we go all of that works there's nothing to delete here yet so that would just that would do nothing but the exit works you see that the exit okay okay since we've got those three working I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to call it the end of the first part of this tutorial and I'll see you guys shortly on the second part of this tutorial